Here, in the Gulf of California, on Operation Milagro 3, the chase for illegal nets begins during our patrols when we spot suspicious activity on the ship's radar. Most often, fishermen use the cover of darkness when pulling or placing prohibited gill nets. But even at night, we closely monitor their maneuvers and also use night vision drones to investigate from up close. Once illegal activity is confirmed, the coordinates are locked and we can now approach to retrieve the nets. Pinpointing down precise locations makes our general search pattern even more efficient and successful. Poachers have stopped using any visible surface markers like buoys on their nets. The fishermen use GPS to relocate their illegal gear and leave the nets completely submerged, invisible to the eye. Our ships find these nets by using what we call a phantom ray. These rays are dragged from the stern of the ship with a grappling hook attached. Once the hook gets caught in a net, a breaker line snaps, releasing the ray from the ship and marking the net with a buoy. One of our small boats is now launched with a team ready to heave up the net and to release all live animals back into the ocean. Often these nets are so heavy and tense that they have to be cut in half to make their retrieval possible. Each net is weighted to the seafloor with two big anchors, which are also lifted out of the water. At the end of the operation, the nets are transferred onto either the Sam Simon or the Farley Mowat, where our scientists gather information on the type of gear used, as well as record all animals, dead or alive, found in each net. Finally, the retrieved nets are destroyed and bagged. All rope, plastic floats and net mesh are handed over to Parley for the Oceans, an organization that will recycle the deadly nets into something useful. This is a normal day for the Sea Shepherd crew on Operation Milagro 3. The Gulf of California is one of the world's hotspots for marine biodiversity. We will continue our work removing illegal nets, giving the unique inhabitants like the endangered vaquita porpoise and the Toto Aba fish a real chance of survival. Please support our mission to protect and defend marine wildlife by volunteering on board or by donating today.